What part of Jordan's game? What part of Ricky's game or Justin's game would you want to integrate into your game? I'd love to vomit like JT. I'd love to hit it as far as he does. I'm jealous of the way he's kind of learned how to win, the way he's, he's able to close both of those guys. And, and I feel like I've done that too, so I, it's not necessarily something I'm envious of. Jordan, his short game is just unbelievable. I mean, get him 80 yards and in or 50 yards and in, and it just it seems like he gets up and down almost every time. And that's just such a huge part of golf and it's such a big part in, in staying in a round or staying in contention. And when he gets that putter rolling, there's not many things like it. Ricky's demeanor is really impressive. I mean, he doesn't change much. He's got a lot of fire in him. He's very competitive, but he's, his demeanor is incredible on the golf course. I also am very envious of the way that he can hit had kind of his long irons and his three wood off the ground and how he can attack par fives by just dropping it so softly onto the greens. Ricky really, really drives the ball well. He drives it really straight, but I'd say the part I like the most about his game is just his demeanor and how calm he stays. Nothing affects him, and he's kind of the same even keel throughout the day. Let's see. I would say Justin's game. I'm not sure if a lot of people get to see it or know it, He's really good around the greens. I can beat him out of the bunker, I've got that covered. I want to be able to chip it a little bit better, scramble around the greens, and I feel like whenever we're home, we'll play a game to 21 or something, and he typically beats me, so I'd like to turn that around. Jordan's game, he's just a really good grinder, a way of uh, figuring out the, the best way to, to grind it out. I mean, I remember watching at the Open this year, number 10, he was kind of in the fringe, or maybe just in the rough on behind the pin and three on, on the 10th, which is par four, and happens to chip it in for par, which that could easily turn into bogey or double, and I feel like we've seen him do that so many times, more than not, whether it's chip it in or make a 40-footer for, for par, and those are just occasions where it continues to, to build momentum or, or keep the rhythm of the round going where it can go one way or the other. It's really cool to watch kind of your friends go through the same process. You're used to going through your heartbeat you know, is, is up, the adrenaline's rushing, and to being able to control that to milliseconds, which you need to through your golf swing or in a putting stroke, to get the job done is, is awesome when you hang out and talk about that with your friends and then you see them kind of go through it. It is really fun and it, it helps us push each other.